What's up, y'all? Uh, so before we get started today, just wanted to say uh, thank y'all, man. Uh, channel got to 500, a little over that, and I really appreciate that. I got a lot of dreams and aspirations of what I want to do, and every day this uh, this means something to me, and I appreciate the journey, and I love the highs and lows, and just when you just, you know, maybe you just at a standstill for a day or two and then it pick up again. I love those moments. I love all of this. Um, thank y'all for the interaction. Uh, I've had a lot of jokes, a lot of friends, some some heart to hearts, you know what I mean? A lot of stuff, but I don't, I don't take anything personally at all at any point. I appreciate every interaction no matter what the tempo of it is and uh thank y'all i really appreciate it i'm gonna try and figure out some system of uh giveaways and this and that for subscribers and try and do right by y'all but also want to give some of the some of the servers that want want the platform like y'all got the platform to come on here that's why i do the podcast and that's why we do the lives and that's why i like interacting more and sharing this stuff is just some of the stuff i'm genuinely really passionate about and if i'm a sucker and get something which we'll talk about later in this one then then so be it but i i really appreciate y'all thank y'all man uh can't I can't, and I, I believe nobody can do this without every single person that's decided to come along this and everybody else's channel and wave, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Let's get to it. What's up, y'all? Okay, so I stopped in, picked up a pre-order from way back in february and i like this i like how funko trying to get us right y'all know how many pops they just announced and they just come out with like within a week you know like the the scream symbiote and uh, mk armor and then you had the infinity warps pops those came out and just, just out of nowhere, pretty much. I've been waiting on this pop. And here's the proof. This is February. This has got to stop, Funko. This has got to stop. So without further ado, we're going to get into the Champa from Dragon Ball Super. This is a pop that I was really excited for. Because it was finally, they they gave us something different, you know, like, like I've been waiting and, and I'm just kind of tired of the same ones. Well, I'm not like tired, like I'm done, but it's just like enough with Goku and Vegeta, please. 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 I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. So they, we have the flocked Champa and then we have the flocked Beerus Funimation exclusive and one thing I do want to kind of show you guys is the the pop color of the boxes this one is actually darker if you can if you can see that Champa is lighter even in pop form it's not just it's not just the light trust me Champa is actually lighter than Beerus which is you know what I mean? I think pretty accurate to the show. And if you don't know who Champa is, he is just one of, he's, he's Beerus' brother. They're just destroyers. They, uh, you first see him around the time that they get ready to have the first battle between Beerus' universe and Champa's universe because there are several universes we find out in Super. And if you haven't seen that, I highly suggest you go check it out. It's a good show. It's a really good show. I like it, you know. I'm, I don't want to proclaim anything is is the goat, unlike some people I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
you know, there's a, it's either the, the you know what call for the, you know what call. So, uh, let's just hop into this pop because I am kind of off the bat. Whenever I picked it up, I had noticed that the belt is a little like got a paint issue there, Funko. You can see it right on his big tum tum. But other than that, that's just small. They gave him a different pose than Beers. This is a flock. So you got the little furries, and I like that. And they, I like whenever they do this and it makes sense. Even though some would say that these are hairless cats, which I don't mind arguing. But something I like between both of the Beers and the Champa is that they still managed to get the gold bands on there. And I, I some, just to me, I just think that's a, a cool little nuance. You know what I mean? They could have did some lame stuff, but they actually built a, its own separate mold piece and this and that. They didn't do some like cheap little paint because the the Champa bracelet is actually a little different. No, I mean, they're, they're kind of the same, but like I said, this pop to me is just brighter. It's not as dark as the Beers one, which is understandable, makes sense. So my only fears for this pop is that they will make another form of this and we'll get a metallic, a glow maybe, because they're, ah, they're going in with the glows. Uh, and then they'll give us a normal one and that'll be a Funimation exclusive as well. So I'm kind of nervous about it. We'll have to see what the future holds. I'm not too sure. You guys let me know. Is this a dope one? I think it is. I'm glad they did somebody else. Now I hope that we get Vados with this. That would be super dope as well. Even though they gave us a Whis, which I think they should have just gave us a Vados for a Galactic Toys. But who am I to judge? Uh, let me know in the comments did you swoop these up and before we get out of here i got some cards that i gotta put in and these are some beauties now i know everybody's going in for pokemon and i go in for the pokemon i got pikachu and charizard right here but these are my day ones uh and i love i love these Dragon Ball Super cards. I'm trying to figure out which card I should put in here. And I think it's going to be a twofer. And I'm going to put these ones in there. One on the front, one on the side. I'll have to take a picture on the old Instagram and put it up for y'all at a later time next to the flock beers. We'll see how that goes. I appreciate y'all as always. Thank you for taking the time. Take it easy.